G'day everyone, I'm Jazza, and in this video I'm gonna be drawing one character four times. Once taking one hour, then 10 minutes, one minute, and then 10 seconds. Now when doing this challenge, I really like to draw characters that have a lot of personality and are really interesting and vibrant. And I thought the most bizarre, insane, vibrant, and weird character of all time, it turns out, isn't even in fiction. That's right, Joe Exotic from Tiger King. For those of you who haven't seen Netflix's Tiger King documentary, I'm just gonna throw in a super cut right now of Joe Exotic moments, just so you can sort of be on the same page as me moving forward. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Bum, 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 bum. Baby, you're lucky How good? Okay, that sucks. He would take a picture of Carol and put it on the body of a man in a diaper. Alistair. I'm doing illegal drugs. So there you go, that's, <laughs> that's who we're drawing. We can't draw Joe Exotic, the Tiger King, without a tiger. Ooh, this is a, probably the most recent one, I'm guessing. <laughs> Cause that's his mugshot. By the way, there are some great Joe Exotic memes. Let's just check these out very quickly. This is the genie you get from rubbing a two liter bottle of Mountain Dew. So I think I've seen this one the most, which is now a meme template, which is the moment of the show where he says, I'm never gonna financially recover from this. Social distancing will continue until April 30th. Nobody working, y'all. I'm never gonna financially recover from this. When you forget to unsubscribe from the free trial and you're charged for the first month. I'm never gonna financially recover from this. It's great, it's a good meme. Good, good quality meme. Me, every time they play Joe Exotic's music video, that's my face too. They are genuinely a thing of beauty, which is why I think to accompany my first illustration, we should do a karaoke version of I Saw Tigers. But I think it's only fitting that it be altered for the theme of the activity today. Let's get started. Tell all the hunters, lay down their guns. Cause if you love tigers, there's better ways to have fun. See, I am an artist. Let me tell you where it's at. If you want to express yourself, then just draw a kitty cat. Cause I draw tigers, now I understand When I draw tigers, I really feel like a man You can use a pencil, or you can use a pen But if you draw a tiger, you're gonna wanna draw ten So this is an addiction Keeps me up at night Thinking of their bodies Dreaming of their might Cause I draw tigers And I demand That you draw tigers Come and hold my When I draw tigers, I really feel like a man. And if you draw tigers, you would understand. You may be asking, when did all this start? When did tigers? Become your art When I was a young boy I would watch cartoons and I used to watch Jungle Book In the nude Sure God Now I draw tigers I hope you understand If I draw tigers I really feel like a man if I draw tigers, I really feel like a man. If I draw tigers, I really feel like a man. And if I draw tigers, then anyone can. You can draw tigers. They will be your stand. You know who killed her? Huh? 
If I draw tigers, I really feel like I'm a man. I hope you enjoyed my reworked uh, version of Joe Exotic's song. I, I was quite proud of that. And at least it's more family friendly and appropriate than the one he made. So this is my <laughs> Joe Exotic drawn in one hour. I gotta say, I am pretty bloody chuffed. Now, to be honest, realism and caricatures aren't my thing. So obviously they're still a little cartoony and uh, it's not exactly like Joe Exotic, but at the same time, I really feel like, you know, I captured his essence. And I think the little tweak of having the tiger look a little bit <laughs> worried about what Joe's gonna do is a nice touch. But it is time to move on to the real heart of this challenge, which is now drawing Joe and his tiger in 10 minutes, one minute, and then 10 seconds. I'm gonna try and do colors. So I've actually grouped simple versions of the colors I used for the more detailed piece in the hopes that if I can get a sketch and the ink work done quickly enough, I'll have a couple of minutes to uh, slap in some colors. And I think also it bears mentioning that this is where it's gonna get a little more cartoony because I mean, I have 10 minutes, guys, so. I'm gonna work to my strengths here. I'm much better at drawing cartoons and uh, I think it'll translate. <laughs> ah, I'm nervous. I'm always nervous. But now it's time to put 10 minutes on the clock and without any further ado, let's get exotic. Go! Okay, uh, panic sets in and I don't know what I'm drawing. I'm just gonna go the same proportions as before, but this time I'm gonna really go for that, um, I'm gonna say Disney-esque aesthetic. A little bit of a touch of my own style. Make the head a little bigger. Might as well emphasize this, make it nice and cartoony. One thing I didn't like about my illustration on the left is his jaw is a little too big. Like it looks a little too like tough guy. And he, he's, I don't know, I think his proportions are a little more weedy. This time I'm gonna have him looking at the tiger. Like <laughs> we're about to get crazy. Oof, seven and a half. Jeez, I'm running out of time. Quick! The tiger might suffer, because I think Joe is probably the uh, main thing to get right here. I'm gonna have to do like the lines and all that, like all the patterns of the tiger, when I'm actually just doing the ink. And speaking of ink, I'm just gonna have to jump into this. Oh boy! Running out of time. Joe Exotic time. I gotta smash out ink, because I really want to get to colors, and I'm nearly halfway, and I haven't even really started ink yet, so got a bit of catching up to do. Got like that, that narrow. <laughs> <laughs> that narrow concerning look. I'm gonna like accentuate his grasp of this tiger. He's like <laughs> clawing the tiger. The tiger's like, no, do that. I'm a channel creature. I've got four and a half minutes. I think I could do this. I think I'm doing pretty well. Just gotta smack out these lines. I think I gotta speed up the tiger. And to do that, I'm gonna do the lines with a big brush pen. You ready? All right. Color time! Where's the, where do I, how do I organize the colors? I had the, some sort of reason for this in my head and I've lost my organization. Can't erase the construction lines because I don't have enough time. I'm gonna do this nice and quick, but I don't want to look too messy. Okay, look at these lovely blonde locks of the mullet. <laughs> all right, we're doing all right. Doing all right. Got a nice shiny shirt and we're gonna do this nice and quickly, but. Uh, I'm not gonna do two turns. I'm gonna do the rest first, and if I have time, I'll come back to it. Ooh, forgot the sunglasses. Yeah. Okay, tiger time. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, nose, and around the eyes, and up in the forehead, and around the side, sort of, maybe? How are we doing for time? 43 seconds, oh boy. Okay, let's speed this up. We're nearly there. Uh, this is the eyes, and the nose. A Little more color in the fur. More shading in the face. Is it, is it colorful enough? I don't know. Ooh, I've missed Joe's fingers. Where's the skin tone? And we need some whiskers. Got nine seconds. Whiskers. And shine on the sunglasses. And. Oh boy. Okay, look, 10 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. One hour. 10 minutes. Let me know in the comments if you had the choice, if you would either have one of these framed on your wall or six of these. Anyway, moving on. I have one minute. It shouldn't have to be crap. I've just got to be efficient. So we've got Joe's shirt and we've got his skin. Got his hair. I'm gonna have to do this in order. Skin, hair, shirt, gold. 
And then tiger, we're gonna go a little more cartoony here. Got the orange of the tiger. And I think that's really all I'm gonna have time for if I have a minute, let's be honest. One minute on the clock and decap. All right, we ready? Timer on the clock. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Now they're turning to each other. The story is evolving. We've got to at least have some sort of progress here. Oh boy, oh boy, I have 25 seconds. He's got his thing in his glasses. I'm really failing on Joe here. Sorry, Joe. There's his thing and his shirt. Oh no, oh no, I got no colors. I got no colors. Uh, color, 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 shirt. No order here. We're just going shirt, we're going skin. Tiger needs a color, tiger needs a color, tiger has a color. That's a minute, I feel like I could do more in a minute. Really? That's my not rushing at face. That's my holy crap, I've got like 10 seconds left. All right, <laughs> if that was bad, you ain't seen nothing yet. Because next, we have 10 seconds. Oh, okay, here's how I'm gonna, because I've done a few of these and it never ends up pretty in 10 seconds. But if I'm clever enough, I could draw the tiger with my right hand, and then I could color the tiger with my left hand as I draw Joe with my right hand, and then I can grab two colors left, so I'm just drawing with two pens twice in 10 seconds. And in fact, I'm gonna put 11 seconds on the clock because by the time I click start and move to the paper, that's one second gone. Okay, <clears throat> you ready? And go! Okay, tiger hair, this didn't go according to plan, but... <clears throat> oh, what did you expect? Jeez Louise, okay, shut up. Ah. But do you see what I'm going for? And it sort of worked. Because if I was trying to draw Joe fully, wouldn't have worked at all. But what I've got here, let me just, I'm just gonna, you know what the final outcome looks like, but I'll just give you a little hint. There's his shirt, see that? And the tiger's eat, bitten his head because Joe's gotten a little too exotic. <laughs> and look, I think I've captured the essence of Joe Exotic, mainly because it doesn't end well for him. And so dear viewers, not only did I create a one hour, 10 minute, one minute, 10 second art challenge piece for you to enjoy, which I think turned out pretty good. But I also made a bit of a comic strip. We got Joe and his tiger and they're like, oh yeah, we're just, we're just hanging out being tiger friends. And the tiger's like, what do you, what do you, what do you got on your mind, Joe? And Joe's like, you want to know what I got on my mind? And the tiger's like, ah, oh, you know, not really. Joe's like, here, let me tell you what I want to do to you. And the tiger's like, off. And that's the story of Joe. <laughs> it's just, it's just like the show. It just gets more out of control and, and unpredictable every time. Speaking of being out of control and unpredictable, that's also what we do here with art and creativity. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more fun with art and creativity. Otherwise, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you later.